the top players in the NBA. That would mean the world because we know the NBA is the best basketball league in the world. Let's go to my top five list. Number five, Steph Curry. Why? Here it is right here. Be number three. Five. Let me tell y'all something right now. Steph Curry is the greatest shooter in the history of basketball. No, he's not an elite defender, but his offense, his shot is so potent, it affects defenses, it affects you defensively because it makes opposing offenses panic and tight because they know if they miss, he gets the ball back and his lights out, y'all. Steph Curry's number five. Number four, Anthony Davis. Here, right here. Here you go. Why? 6'10", all-purpose, can defend five, four different positions, can play with his back to basket, can play face in the basket, walks around averaging 28 and 11. He's an elite defender as well in terms of his all-around skill. He doesn't have pizzazz, but his game is elite. There is no doubt about it. He's a top five player in the world. I got him at number four. Number three, yeah, Max, Kawhi Leonard. There we go. That's right. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't hate, don't hate, appreciate. It matters in the NBA Finals when you win this championship because you're beating one of the greatest players in the world. Both ways, he can defend three different positions. He averages better than 25. He defends the opposing team's best player. Everyone recognizes him as an elite defender. There is no question that Kawhi Leonard is a top five player in the NBA. Show this man his respect. Just because he ain't winning headlines doesn't mean he doesn't have a game. He's elite. Let's get to number two on the list. LeBron James! LeBron James! Okay? Why? I'll tell you why. He's a three-time champion. He's a four-time league MVP. He's 6'9". He's 260. He ain't in the playoffs right now, but that doesn't give us a license to exercise amnesia. The brother still averaged 27 this year, despite missing 17 straight games with the groin injury. We know what LeBron can do. He went to eight straight NBA Finals. Show him your respect, okay? Give him that. But that don't mean you got to say he's the best in the world. I'm going to tell you who's the best in the world. Give it to me. His name is KD. His name is KD. We're talking Kevin Durant here. And for those of you who want to sit up here and argue with the this, the board knows remember, that's not true. Uh, I'm sorry. The board knows it's hold not on, hold on. It's true. It's true. Let me finish this last point because it's very, very important. Again, you don't need it. Let me finish this last point. Kevin Durant, everyone recognizes he's elevated his level of defensive play. Offensively, 6'11", 7'6", wingspan, three-point shot, career 38% shooter, career 27-point 27 27 point per game scorer. This dude can score from three. He has the mid-range game. He hits 90% from the free throw line. He is arguably the most unstoppable offensive force in basketball, and he's one of those rare individuals that has the opportunity to be the all-time leading scorer in NBA history when everything is said and done, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar has over 38,000 points. When you talk about one person who could potentially catch it, if he wanted to, it's Kevin Durant, because in his sleep, he can drop 30 on anybody. LeBron James can't hit perimeter shots that way. He can't hit free throws that way. Kevin Durant, tell me what he can't do and offensively. He's an elite defender I, as well. Here we go. Look, look, this, elite first defense. of all, first of all, elite defender. I, I'm going to get to the order, which is all jacked up in a second. First of all, where is Giannis and Tetacumpo? Not in the top five. Where is. Not where in is, the top five. Pardon me, pardon me. He was the MVP of the league in nope. the regular. Regular season, better than everybody so, else. And then so, in the playoffs... I'm going to see the Wizard, so, right? And then in the playoffs, he averaged 25, Can 12, I answer? 5, 2, and 1. Timeout. And after two games against the Raptors, he wasn't 1-1, one one, he was 2-0. Oh. Can I answer? Steph right now is 1-1. I'd one like one. to answer that question in two ways. Number one, you don't get to say that when he was one of your top two players mm -hmm. all season long, and then you didn't even have him in the top two based on the playoff series. I number one. Number three. two, hold it, number two, number two, and more importantly, just because you had a great season doesn't mean you belong in this list. If that was the case, James Harden would be on this list, no, and, and he's not. No, so I don't want to hear No, it. no, no. James Harden chokes in the playoffs. First of all, Kawhi Leonard, the best defender in the league, 
who's offensively he will be there. Pardon me, pardon me. In these playoffs, these playoffs, when KD got hurt at that moment, Kawhi Leonard was putting up. Let me be very clear. Better offensive, offensive numbers than KD. But the difference is KD's never facing a double team. Everyone's got to stay home on Steph and Clay. The entire defense of the other team is all over Kawhi. But he was putting up better to offensive show, to numbers you, than KD, let alone show, the defense. To show you the lack of basketball knowledge, here's the difference. <laughs> KD, it's much, much tougher to double up on him because unlike the Greek freak, he's got a perimeter shot, so it's very difficult to chase somebody with double teams outside the three-point line. You but can Kawhi do that to the Greek freak because he can't I'm make a shot freak. outside of 10 I'm not feet. talking about the freak. I'm talking about comparing him to the actual best player in basketball. Excuse me. Kawhi, Kawhi one, ha hammer, LeBron get two. Here? Well, he got the order right in terms of Kevin Durant. I, uh, I know. Uh, we yeah, got yeah, 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 yeah. All right. I'm sorry. There you go. There you go. There you go. There we go. There you go. Your mic. All right. Just hold on to that for right now. Okay. Just hold on to okay. that for right now. Thank you. Now, now we, you know, and we can debate that, but, uh, you know, Kevin Durant, you also didn't mention his elite defense. But That's right. I didn't mention that. You did mention it. My bad. But he can do it all. So those top two, we can't take anything ever away from LeBron James. We, you know, we we look at we we enjoyed we enjoyed competing against him. You want to play against the best. He definitely was was the best. He was. But this man right here. He's in that position, and this man is in this position, and this man needs to stay here and get those. See this man? That four See this man? Remember when, KD, remember when KD won the finals MVP? He put up great numbers. Again, never double teamed. Steph and Clay and everybody on the team. Remember when he put up those numbers? LeBron James, I counted him, had eight games in those playoffs. Has at Kevin least Durant as ever been double? KD's best game. Has Kevin Durant ever been doubled in his I'm, career? I'm talking about.